In this lecture, we are going to talk about classes in JavaScript. So, in the previous lectures, we determined that JavaScript is a prototype-based language that doesn't have the concept of classes. However, after 2015, a new class syntax is introduced to JavaScript. Now, you can use classes in JavaScript, however, there are just syntactical sugar, which means that behind the scenes, JavaScript is still based on prototypes. It's just a syntax that makes writing code more straightforward, but also hides the prototypal nature of JavaScript from new developers. In JavaScript, classes are the special type of functions. We can define the class just like function declarations and function expressions. Then we can instantiate the given class with the help of the new keyword that creates a new object with all the listed methods. The constructor method is called automatically by the new keyword, so we can initialize the object there. So this is the syntax of creating a class in JavaScript. We have to use the class keyword, then we have to define the name of the class. We have to define the constructor that's going to be called automatically whenever we instantiate that given class, and then we can define as many methods as we want. Okay, so let's create a student class just for demonstration purposes. We can create a constructor, and the constructor is going to get a name parameter, and we will initialize the name to be equals to the name. And after that, we will have a given method. For example, say hello is going to console.log. So it's going to print out that the name is, and we can caffeinate uh, this dot name. Okay, so this is a typical class declaration. We have to use the class keyword, then we have to define the name of the class which is usually camel case, which means that the first letter is an uppercase letter. We can define the constructor, and this constructor is going to be called whenever we instantiate the given class. So we have a student1 is equals to a new student. This is how we can instantiate a new student class, and the name is going to be Kevin. And every time the new keyword is used whenever we instantiate a given class, then the constructor is going to be called, and this is why we have to define a name because this is how we define the constructor. The constructor takes one argument, the name itself, so this is why we have one parameter here as well. Then the name is going to be initialized to be the name, and then we can call the given method. So say hello is going to call this method of the given class. So if I save it, then it is going to work just fine. The name is Kevin, so this method has been called. You may pose the question that what exactly is a class? That's not an entirely new language level entity, as one might think. Let's unveil any magic and see what a class really is. That will help in understanding many complex aspects of JavaScript. So if we do something like this, that we console.log, type of the student class, and we run it. As you can see, the student class itself is not really a class. It is a function, as you can see. So this is why we have been talking about that JavaScript is a prototype-based programming language. Okay, we can define classes, but under the hood, JavaScript is going to transform that given class into prototype-based code. So basically, JavaScript is going to create a function named student that becomes the result of the class declaration. The function code is taken from the constructor method. And finally, JavaScript is going to store all the methods. For example, here we have just a single say hello method. These methods are going to be stored in the student.prototype. And afterwards, for new objects, when we call a method, it's taken from the prototype itself. So a new student object has access to the class methods. So for example, if we print out object own property names and we define the student.prototype and we run it, as you can see, the student class has two methods basically, the constructor itself and the say hello method. So this is what we can get with the help of get own property names as far as student prototype is concerned. So basically a class is going to be transformed into a function and prototype in JavaScript. So under the hood what's going to happen that JavaScript is going to define a student function 
sorry for that so student with a given name parameter the name is equals to the name and then we can define the prototype as usual so prototype dot say hello is a function that going to console.log name is and we can caffeinate this dot name and then we can instantiate that given function with the help of the new keyword again and we can call the s1 dot say hello okay so if we run it then the name is kevin so basically it is going to be the same as the class student itself so the class is going to be transformed into a function like this with a prototype like this so this is how javascript works under the hood thanks for watching